Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we are going to see about Renovate. Again, many of you might not be aware of this. Even I was. I came to know about there is a tool called Renovate that could help us to automatically update all the dependencies that in our project, uh, you know, very recently. And I, I have been using Dependabot for almost a year or two now. Uh, I thought it, it was the only tool, but there are other uh, alternatives like Renovate, which seem to be really good. And uh, right, I also have made videos about Dependabot. If you haven't watched it, please do watch them. I'll I'll link it to the description. Right. So so what is what is new with Renovate? What problems does it solve, which Dependabot doesn't solve? So so for first main reason that we want to use Renovate is to have automated dependency management. Let's say. In a test automation project or a development project, we use a lot of libraries, right? So uh, if these libraries uh, gets updated, for example, in your test automation, we are using Selenium as a dependency. And let's say uh, the Selenium re uh, developers releases a new version. Uh, you cannot track all of that by yourself and you need some automated way uh, uh, to, to basically track and, and create a pull request for you, right? So even if you track it by yourself, somebody has to go edit the code, uh, create a pull request, and then test it, and, and then you know needs to create a PR and then merge it. So this is a long way process, right? So instead of that, you can let tools like Renovate and Dependabot to do this. So though the Renovate's uh, ultimate goal is to automate the dependency management, uh, which Dependabot also does, but Renovate uh, differs in terms of other functionalities. Let's say you can group different pull requests, for example. Uh, if you are having 10 or 15 dependencies in your form.xml and uh, and let's say you want to group them similar stuff for example you want to group uh, some related dependencies like j unit uh, allure j unit rest assured j unit something like this right so they can then you can group them together you can also group them based on uh, uh, updates whether it is major or minor updates or it's a patch version you can club them together because in depend about if you have thousand dependencies, you will get a lot of pull requests and then managing them individually might be really complicated, right? So there is no real way for you to group pull requests in depend about, right? And sometimes if you have a lot of required checks in the GitHub Actions, uh, this depend about PRs uh, will run your CA all the time and keeping your runner busy and also increase the GitHub Actions cost. So in those cases, it is really good to, to group your pull requests based upon your customization. And that's what exactly Renovate does. And it also not just scans for your package.json or form.xml or other dependency management uh, tools for your programming languages. It scans for GitHub Actions. It scans your Docker file if for any you know Docker image updates. It also scans your Docker Compose files. Wherever there is a possibility of updates, Renovate scans all of them. That's pretty good. And you can also configure it to auto merge if the all the required check pass, if it is a minor release, all these things are, are basically possible. So you don't have, have to even worry about whether the uh, updates can be, uh, you know, have to create a pull request, get the review from, uh, you know, developers, because you know, this is a very small update and, and you also be can be sure that your uh, required checks in GitHub also passes. So you could do all of this by just auto merging them. So you don't have to even worry about whether it is getting updated or not. And then scheduling, you can schedule it to run, you know, 10 minutes every Friday, every Monday, whatever, uh, you can do all of that. And there are other possible co configuration options, like you can assign reviewers, you can set up the base branches, you can format the commit message, how it looks like, you can format the PR title, you can format the uh, everything, right? So there are a lot of things. And also it comes with the Renovate dashboard, which I'll show you in, in a few minutes, right? Uh, that's all about it. Let's let's not speak more. Let's get into the action. So first thing first, uh, you can add Renovate uh, for for your GitHub GitLab. It's it's it, it it is possible to have it for all the uh, you know CA tools that, that are available in the market, right? So in this particular video, I'm gonna show it for the GitHub, right? So let's say if you want to first add it for your GitHub, you first need to go to GitHub.com apps Renovate, okay? And if you go to this uh, particular URL, I will also leave this in the description. In your case, it will show you to add to your GitHub or install to your GitHub, something like that. In my case, I have already added it. So if I go to my particular GitHub, uh, let's say I go here, 
And if I go to the uh, settings and the applications here, um, I could see Renovate, right? So this is, this is getting added here, right? In your case, you need to add it and then you can check it whether it is added successfully here. While you're adding it, it might ask you to basically uh, create an account at developer.min.io. I used my GitHub to, to create an account. It's, it's pretty easy. And this is the dashboard from which you can manage everything. For example, I have two frameworks that has Renovate's setup. We can also do it for the third, which is what I'm going to do now. But in your case, it's going to be very simple. You can go to this dashboard um, and then uh, so it understands since you are signing up with the GitHub, it understands which repository you want to add. OK, that you can choose from here. Um, so we go to the configure options uh, or in the install app, you can click on configure here, which is also take you there and uh, you can see different options here. Now, in the bottom, you can see we want to do it for all the repositories or only for the selected repositories. You can choose only select repositories and then you can choose the which one you want to do it. For example, let's say I want to do it on, um, you know, something, let's say um, Cypress TypeScript or whatever, um, maybe some master framework or something like that, right? So you can search for it and then you can add it. Once you do this, you can just click on save. Okay, once you click on the save, uh, if you, it will go to, go to your organization, you can click on it. And now there are three frameworks. And if you notice, if you click on this, it says it is running the uh, Renovate app on this particular uh, repository. Let's go to the repository and see what's happening. Okay, let's go to the repository. And here I can notice there is a pull request that got created. Okay, this is created by Renovate. And what it does is, what it says, this is an onboarding PR, okay? So if you notice, configure Renovate. If you just add this particular, if you merge this particular file, what it does is, it has a basic schemas defined here, okay? You can do all the custom configuration like auto merging, grouping dependencies and everything later, but this is just a basic version, okay? Or you can also config, you can, you know, if you have already a, a renovate.json file with your custom configuration option, you can copy this, and then you can put it here, something like this, right? But in this case, I don't want to do any complex things and simply I want to configure this. Uh, okay, so now the uh, check formatting and coding standards are getting uh, failed, uh, but you know, this is an old repository, so don't worry about it too much. Uh, so now I have merged it. So now once you merge it, what happens is it creates a, a you know dashboard uh, for your renovate, okay? Maybe I will show the repository for which it's already there. Um, so let's go to the one framework. And if you go to the issues, uh, you can see dependency dashboard. So this is what uh, managed by Renovate itself. So it tracks all the dependencies and it tells you what are the possible updates available in your repository. In this particular repository, there is a possible update available for JNIT to 5.9. So if you notice here, 5.9.2, 5.10.0. But this is actually failing. The problem is, so if I create this PR, I have already closed it. Uh, it will create something like this. It will create a PR to update this dependency. But in my case, this framework also has other uh, dependencies that also using JUnit. For example, Allure JUnit is, is in 5.9.2. If I just update this particular dependency alone, it have conflicts or differences and my tests are failing. So, so that's the reason I have ignored this particular difference. So when you close a PR request, um, it, it comes there and sits here and it will never show, show up in any other particular uh, PRs, okay? So it automatically understands that you don't want to update this uh, uh, now. And whenever you want, you will manually click this checkbox and it will create a PR for you, right? You can now go to the, uh, you know, some pull request that's been already created. Let's go to this pull request. And if you notice, it has created pull requests. I have grouped them in a way that it creates all of them by one. So if you notice, actions.checkout is updated from v3 to v4. Uh, the standalone Chrome image that I'm using in the GitHub runners is also getting updated. So the JSON schema library is getting updated from here. And you can also see the good thing is it also gives you the release notes whenever there is a, a possibility. For example, the update from Selenite 6.17 to 6.18 
actually has all these uh, cool release nodes, which Debitabot doesn't really, uh, you know, bother to give you. So this is pretty cool, right? So you could get all these things. And also, what is the confidence? Like if, the, if you update this from here to here, the confidence is pretty high. But in my case, I have a, another dependency that is conflicting with this. Uh, so you can also, you know, see all these data, right? This is based on the uh, usages in other repositories, okay? So you could get whether this is a major update, patch update, or minor update, and what kind of update it is. And based on this, you can make your own decisions. And uh, that's how cool this dependent bot can do. And let's go to the master framework and let's see. So now if you notice the dependency dashboard is ready and there are a bunch of dependencies it shows to update. So, you know, it, it will also start creating PR one by one because currently the default configuration, which means uh, it will create PRs for every single dependency update. So you can, con you know, go and edit this renovate.json and add your particular configuration. You can, you can copy it from my one framework, which will basically group all the updates at one go. So you can go here and you can see how we could group them, all of them together, right? I will leave a couple of uh, renovate.json's for your examples. And you can also go ahead and go to the docs.renovatebot.com and you can see, you can configure the commit message. What is the default commit message? Um, you can do a lot of things, commit message, topic, confidential, constraints, warnings, uh, dashboards, you want to change something there, uh, how the footer might look, uh, enable the author reviews, kit ignore files, code owners, you could configure n number of things with just the renovate.json and it will it'll be like, you know, it will make sure that, you know, you can also configure the NPM token if you are using uh, package.json then want to pull some uh, you know dependencies from your private registries right you can do all of that uh, right uh, yeah so that's how you could use renovate and you know i will leave these uh, important links in the description you can have a look at them right so uh, i will see you guys in another great video until then tada bye 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 bye